Hello, this is Byrne, and if you're a single woman who's ever questioned whether love is really in the cards for her or not, you need to hear what I'm about to share with you today. Stick with me. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams with no manipulation or gimmicks, and as a result of stepping into the most feminine, most alive, and most connected version of yourself. Every so often, and actually pretty often, I hear the phrase, I think love is not in the cards for me, or the question, I'm questioning whether love is in the cards for me or not. And I have to say that I, I involuntarily cringe. Why? Because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in love being in the cards or not being in the cards for you. You wouldn't be wondering if medicine is in the cards for you or if becoming a lawyer is in the cards for you. But for some reason, love is one of those things that's very, very difficult in nature. The whole thing, the way it works, is not, it's not a simple thing. But we feel it's the most natural thing in the world and we should by birthright be able to experience it. Therefore, if I didn't get it through my own natural methods, then it's not on the cards for me. So I get it and I'm not trying to push down on anyone who's feeling this way. All I have to say is that saying to yourself that love is not on the cards for you is an unconscious cop-out. Here's why. Because most of the women I've heard say this phrase to me are unaware of the thing they're doing or saying or how they're being, that's making them elude. It's making love be an elusive thing for them. So if you're doing something wrong a hundred times, and then you're saying to yourself, well, maybe it's not supposed to happen. Well, maybe if you change your approach and you don't do it wrong the next time, you might be able to get much more of what you want. I'll give you an analogy. Imagine that you are someone who's never seen the sunrise, and you say, I just wake up one day, for those of you who may not remember, the sun rises in the east. So you wake up and you start heading west, just naturally. And you don't find the sunrise. And you just finally see the sun is up in the sky, but you didn't see it come out. And you get disappointed. So next day you attempt to do the whole thing again. But now you wake up earlier, head to the same direction, no sunrise. Next day you, you start coming up with a faster method to reach uh, that sun. Uh, so you get in your car and you start driving down the west. You don't find it. And you can continue on and on and on. Uh, analogy connected to this. Same guy, different face. Or same lack of owning your awesomeness, different situation. And you'll find, or, or lack of setting strong boundaries with multiple guys back to back. And you'll find, well, love didn't work. Maybe it's not on the cards for me. Well, maybe if some of those things have changed or if you had driven or walked or even looked out the window towards the east, the sun, sunrise would be coming out and you just missed it. You missed it because you had the wrong strategy. You missed it because you had the wrong approach. And love is no different. For thousands of years, this deep love we've been looking for has never been a possibility in the way it is right now. 1900s, a man's average lifespan was 45 to 47 years of age. That's 1900. That's like that's not that far away from right now. So for so many years, if you were to live with someone for the rest of your life, it meant 15, 20 years maximum. Now it could be 60, 70. We've increased in, in the, our capacity to be with each other, but not in the skill of what it takes to continue falling in love with each other, continue understanding, growing, changing with each other. So learning how to do this, regardless of how natural or how romantic the idea is that it should just appear in your life should be, changing your approach, changing your, your mindset on what love is and learning the skill of love can help you to prevent and avoid this catastrophic thinking of love is not on the cards for me when in reality you did it wrong. And so what I'm going to say right now to you, my call to action for you is simple. If you've been saying to yourself, love's not on the cards for me, and somehow that rings as bullshit to you in some way, it's because it is. It's because there's other ways of doing things that you might be unaware of, that you might need to get the skill set for, that can allow you to step into a much better relationship with someone who loves you and adores you. And if you say it's not on the cards for me, you don't have to try, you don't have to get uncomfortable, you don't have to risk. It's a convenient lie, but it's one that will punch you in the stomach for the rest of your life if you really want to find deep love. Hope this is helpful. 
insightful and useful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on, on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell to be notified of new episodes. Three, most important of all, if you want to learn more about how to step into the kind of relationship you want without gimmicks and, and you want to go through a masterclass I created, the first link on the description of this video will create. Uh, once you click on that link, enter your name and email, you start watching this masterclass right away. And if you say, Bern, I love the masterclass and I love the videos that you're sharing with me and I understand that love is probably in the cards for me, but I have no clear idea how to get it and I, I don't want to spend next 20 years trying to figure it out or next 10 years, I want your help, reach out. There's another link under the description of this video where you can apply to get on a call with me. And if we're fit to work together, uh, my assistant will reach out, set up a time to talk and maybe get a chance to really help you, hold you by the hand in the process of finding love. Like I've been able to do it for thousands of women around the world. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to a full and a conscious life.